Morning guys, happy Monday morning motivation. This morning here in this week of Passover, I am thinking about the week that happened before the Exodus. The season where Moses said, let my people go and Pharaoh refused. The Israelites at that time living in Egypt were surrounded by the Egyptians who were idol worshipers. The gods that the Egyptians worshiped um, demanded uh, sacrifices or they would be threatened with all sorts of horrible things. It was a works-based, fear-filled society. They expected, the Egyptians expected, that if they didn't do everything that the gods wanted, everything that their idols expected, that something horrible would happen. Now the Jews, on the other hand, even though they were in bondage, even though they were experiencing hard times, had a God have a God of hope, a God whom they expect to be good and loving and kind to them, a God whom they expected to bring deliverance to them, even in their hard times. So as the Egyptians expected, horrible things to happen if they didn't do the right thing. At the same time, the Jews expected God to do good things to them even when they were going through hard times. And what happened in the end is that everybody involved, Egyptians and Hebrews, got everything that they expected. The Egyptians got the curses that they expected and the Hebrews got the deliverance that they expected. And so today, I want to ask you, what are you expecting? Are you expecting horrible things to happen if you don't do everything right? Or are you expecting God to love and forgive and provide for you? Set your hope and your expectation on Christ alone because it is his goodness that takes good care of us. He is our hope, he is our joy, he is our provider, and he is everything you will ever need. All right. I love y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.